people that don't want to pay these two dollars a month are going to end up with a worse case scenario in which our passwords might be exposed so in this uh, little tutorial what i'm going to show you it is how you can actually use a uh, free and open source tools to achieve the same effect as LastPass, but with much more control from your side. So from the left bottom corner of the screen, we're going to click on advanced options. And in here we are presented with a few options and we're going to click on export. Now LastPass is going to ask you to enter our master password and we do it. And now all it's left to do it is to save the file, the CSV file from LastPass. The next bit of software that we want to install is called KeyPassXE. What we do, we go on the website, which I'm going to leave in the description below. And all we have to do is simply to download it according to our platform, Mac or Windows, or if you guys are on Brio or Mac, you can also use the, your package manager to actually install it automatically. And then we go ahead with the installation. Now that the KeyPass X is installed, we can actually import our file that we just downloaded from LastPass. So we go in our downloads folder, in my case, or whatever folder it's yours, and we import it into a new database, providing a name to the database in this first screen. Click on continue, we can just leave the default options and click continue. And now we're going to enter a master password. Here I mistakenly clicked cancel, so I'm to redoing it again. Now the nice feature about KeyPassXC is that once we write our password, when the confirm password is different, actually it's going to change color. Don't know if you noticed that he flicked with a red, telling me actually the password was uh, not matching with the previous one. Now I'm going to save the database inside my Google Drive folder because this is going to allow me to keep my password synced with my Android device, etc. We're going to make match what is in the preview, what has been exported. Now you should follow what is a uh, looking like in uh, your CSV file. However, in general, uh, URL is going to be column one. Username is going to be column two. Uh, this is just the default, of course. Uh, grouping is going to be column six. Then uh, we have uh, title, uh, we can use column five. Username, uh, column two, password, uh, column three, notes column four, the OTP not present, uh, and this should be it. So we click OK, we leave the other fields as default, and now we should uh, actually see everything uh, like we have before. Now the next step is to integrate XPassXC with the browser. The is to click on the preferences and click then uh, application settings, browser integration, and then on the general tab, we are going to select which browsers we want to select. For example, we can use Google Chrome, Chromium, Vivaldi, Brave, Tor Browser, Edge, any browser you, you wish to integrate. In this case, I'm using Firefox. So I select Firefox and I click OK. On the LastPass extension, we're going to remove it because we are not going to need it anymore and also can create some conflicts. The next bit to do is to install XPass KeyPassXE browser. So to do it, we do on uh, add-ons, we click on this hamburger menu and then we go to add-ons. And then in here, we are going to look for KeyPassXE. So in my case, was the, sec the second result? Just click on the result and then click on add to Firefox. Click add, let's connect it with the key pass. And now we give it a connection name. Firefox to mm, Macbook. Allow access. And now it is connected. So to test it out, we can go on uh, YouTube. Ah.
and I can sign in. So click sign in. And it's going to tell me which profile I want to use. So I'm going to use this one. Of course, we don't want to use the usual one. I'm going to do a uh, two step verification. And there you go. I just signed in using uh, the key pass extension. I hope this video was uh, interesting. See you next.